Hey everyone, it's Andrew from Park Rovers and it's time to talk about something I've wanted to talk about for a long time and that is the goose incident. We are in front of Apollo's Chariot at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. All right, so this is one of the weirdest things in theme park history. An Italian fashion model goes on a coaster, gets hit by a goose. And now you can go shopping on Etsy and maybe you want this print or maybe you want a commemorative pin or maybe you want this pillow on your couch. So how did we get here? Well, let's rewind to March 30th, 1999. Do you believe in life after love? I can't believe I'm not Apollo. <laughs> Busch Gardens Williamsburg wanted to make a big splash with their new hyper coaster named Apollo's Chariot. So they brought in Fabio himself for the opening ceremony. Busch Gardens Williamsburg was promoting the event as modern day Adonis versus ancient day sun god. So Fabio wore a red cape over a blue Oxford shirt and he even had a Roman soldier by his side. And there were 30 women dressed as Roman goddesses. It was a wild scene. Fast forward to 2022 and Busch Gardens Williamsburg would have a similar opening day ceremony for Pantheon, but there wasn't a celebrity endorsement. So as part of the opening ceremony, Fabio, of course, had to actually ride Apollo's chariot. Now, this was far from the first ride because the coaster had been officially open for three days. So anyway, he sat in the middle of the front row flanked by the uh, Roman ladies and they ascended up the lift hill. Fast forward two minutes and you've got blood on the face. According to an anonymous source from Podcast the Ride, Fabio was in shock and kept saying, a bird, a bird, a bird. Journalists attending the event suddenly had a much more exciting story than just a new coaster opening. Uh, an unfortunate act of nature, a bird flew into the uh, towards him and out on the rides. First time that this has ever happened. What we had was a bird that came at the bottom of the lift or halfway down and caught Fabio in the, uh, on the side of the nose. So everything's fine. We're going to start the ride back up, but it was an act of nature. According to reports, the incident occurred on the ride's first drop. After you ascend up the lift hill, Riders are sent down at approximately 70 miles per hour. So a goose that had been nesting nearby flew into the path of the speeding coaster car. After the incident, both Bush Gardens and Fabio claimed that the goose went directly into his face. What happened is like, I, I got like a 20 pound goose around my face and you know, the impact was, was horrendous. Fabio would go on to give interviews saying the coaster was unsafe and shouldn't be operated. It wasn't a freak accident and it's going to happen again. And, you know, I cannot live with my conscience known that the ride is still running. And maybe, you know, a person or even a child can be killed. Meanwhile, Busch Gardens Williamsburg would continue to state that the coaster is completely safe. We have other roller coasters on the, in the park that are in or sit in um, or near the water and no one has ever been hit by a goose in the face. And the local news talked to bird experts. Bird expert Dr. Brian Watts says it comes from one of two types. It's that population is what has become our nuisance population. They're what we see in golf courses, residential ponds, uh, ball fields, that sort of thing. And they are exploding. Um, our population since the 1970s has increased to probably over a quarter million. And even Watch says the accident was a freak one, almost impossible to predict. Of course, late night hosts and comedians both had a field day with this story. Please stop the ride. <laughs> Please have Fabio. <laughs> we have a face full of goose. Things start to get really interesting when Fabio goes on the Roseanne show less than a year after the incident. So I get at the end of the ride, right? <laughs> and more than hurt. I was pissed. Yeah. Because all I heard was like the problem they have, right? And I'm getting out of the roller coaster and I go like to the people from Bush Garden. I just hit a goose. <laughs> and they go, they go, I think Fabio, you're in shock. I think it was a piece of the camera equipment. I think it was a piece of the camera equipment. I think it was a piece of the camera equipment. So perhaps the Roseanne interview was where the mystery began. Was it a piece of camera equipment or did the goose 
hit Fabio in the face. And that brings us to 2018 when Fabio gave an interview to Studio 10, which is an Australian morning talk show. This is the twist. One of the goose hit the camera, the video camera, and a piece of video camera barely slash the bridge of my nose. Now I have to do other, you know, 10 minutes upside down with my head down. So and of blood course, going everywhere. Yeah, because you know, it's like the, most of the blood is in your head. But I wasn't hurt, I was pissed because they wanted to cover their butt. So they go, okay, if the gis hit him, is it not of God? So they spread to the media, then the goose hit me. And it wasn't the goose. The goose hit the video camera. The video camera split. You could have been killed. Easy. Weird things can happen. Easy. Fabio repeated the story on a podcast called Jam Nation when he said they tried to blame an act of God because actually it was a video camera. As a matter of fact, the footage was gone because that big company that I worked for knew very well that they were afraid that I was going to sue them because actually the goose hit the video camera on the roller coaster and the video camera shattered and a piece of metal barely cut the bridge of my nose. When I told them, why don't they show the video on national TV? Of course they refuse it and the video disappear. They never show the video. On the People in the 90s podcast in August 2021, Fabio said, The goose hit the video camera. The video camera shattered. I was fast enough with reflex to turn my head, and I saw metal passing by, and it cut the bridge of my nose. You know how big was the cut? One stitch. My manager at the time said, Let's see the video footage. The tape disappeared. And here's a curveball. In April 2020, Podcast The Ride had someone contact them that said they were on Apollo's Chariot with Fabio, and they said, I haven't heard anyone saying anything about a piece of camera. It was definitely a Canadian goose that hit his face and exploded on impact. There was a camera mounted on the front car, but that was intact before, during, and after. If we look back at the video, we do get a good shot of the camera rig as the train goes up the lift hill, and part of the camera rig appears to stick up. As the train pulls back into the station, it's really hard to tell if a piece of the camera is missing or not, but this is really grainy Zapruder-like film quality. So that brings us to today, as of recording of this video in 2022. The Fabio Goose incident remains a mystery. Do you think it was a piece of the camera that sliced Fabio's nose, or did the goose hit him directly? Let us know in the comments. For more videos from Busch Gardens Williamsburg and a ton of other parks, subscribe to Park Rovers. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time.